Kentucky Board of Directors meet for the first time since the historic storm outage. Yeah, and board members are sharing about how the damage was worse than expected and the improvements you can expect in the years to come. KTV News Watch Evans, Alex McClune was there, joins us live with more. Alex? Rob Quinesia, OPPD is working on installing advanced meters at hundreds of thousands of homes in the coming years. It's new technology that can report outages directly to the utility instead of requiring you to, you know, pick up the phone and make a call to get someone out to your house. That's one way officials are working to improve restoration times. OPPD is also using more drones to assess damage. That helps crews hit the ground running once they arrive at an outage site or an offline circuit. The utility is also looking at new data and tools to share with you at home. The utility wants to do a better job at keeping you in the loop about outage efforts. Officials also say storm damage was worse than expected a couple weeks ago. That played a part in the shifted restoration timeline shared with some customers. A lot of the work was in backyards, a lot of climbing. We couldn't get our trucks and machinery to every pole. The utility is also working with FEMA. The storm cost an estimated $30 million, which includes damaged poles and pay for cleanup crews. This historic outage also reignited the conversation around burying some exposed lines in some Omaha neighborhoods. The CEO says there are better ways to bolster infrastructure, but some neighborhoods may be modernized, though it's not clear where at this point. Quinesia, back to you. All right, Alex, thank you.